Guys, it amazes me how many people in today's culture and in today's society are so hung up on sex. They're so worried about uh, getting an orgasm. They're so worried about attracting a different opposite person from a different gender. Like, this has been a lustful, we've cultivated a lustful culture. And I remember, I forget who said this saying, but he's 100% right. He said, sex runs the world. Everything is about sex. Sex sells. And we're seeing evidence of it now. And it's going to get worse because we've created a culture where uh, sexual liberation is the norm. So not only are we... Uh, promoting these things on a consistent basis, but we've constructed a culture where it's okay to do these things. Guys, there's more to life than just having sex. Now I get it. Uh, some of you guys struggle getting sex. Some of you guys struggle attracting women. Um, guys, it's not what you think it is. So let me break down some stuff for you guys. In today's video, it's going to give you some insight uh, to how some of these things work and just kind of give you a different perspective on it. Before we get too far into the video, I want you guys to hit the like button, comment your thoughts below. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, all the ways you can donate are in the description below. <clears throat> guys, I don't think you understand um, how draining sex is. Sex is extremely dangerous or not dangerous, it's extremely draining. It can be dangerous, but it's draining. Think about it. Have you guys ever worked a blue collar job? You work 12 hours shift, and then you come home and your wife wants to have sex or your girlfriend wants to have sex. You literally, after that, you bro, you finna go straight to sleep for like, 10 hours, eight hours, nine hours, straight. You're gonna miss your, your alarm clock. You're the one putting in all the work when it comes to sex. And then you're, you're draining. See, this is what the no fap guys get right. Where they're like, hey, um, the more sex you have, the more draining it is because of the you're letting your energy go. If you guys really are aware of your body, I want you guys, the next time you have sex, I want you to pay attention to your body and see how tired you are after you have sex. Like you're literally not worth a damn. You have to have some serious willpower to go two rounds, Go to work for eight to 10 hours. Like you're not, you're not doing anything, bro. When you get home, you're too damn tired, right? So I want you guys to keep that in mind. And there were, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be real with you guys. There were times where I would literally like avoid my ex because I didn't want to be drained. I needed that energy to, to, to help start a business. I needed that energy to come home from work, to, to make a video, to, to do something else, to focus and have knowledge and, and not ha use that extra hour I have of, of energy left to be productive. Think about it. Sex is like what? Maybe 20, 30 minutes? For most people, it's probably like 10. 10 minutes of pleasure. And how much time is that out of the day? People are worried and spend hours. Guys have spent hours of their lives just to have 10 minutes of sex. Think about that for a second. Maybe you would uh, reallocate your time to something more productive. But I get it. Nature comes calling. So you have to, you know, it is what it is. Men and some women know what I'm talking about, right? Now, 
this is what you have to realize about when you have too much of something, it ruins it. You, you guys want to know why young men are having ED problems? They're having ED problems because they're watching too much porn. They're jerking off way too much to the point to where they can't even, they're so far mentally gone, they're so far mentally desensitized, they can't even see a, 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 a normal naked woman in front of them to arouse them. You guys want to know why the kings and, and some of the celebrities do orgies and they do some kinky stuff. It's because they've had too much sex. Regular sex ain't enough to get them off anymore. Which means what? They've had too much of it. Guys, too much of anything will ruin it. Too much cheesecake, you'll hate cheesecake after a while. You can take your favorite thing to do in the world. Football, you can do football every day. Eventually, you're going to need a break from it. So that brings up another question or another insight. Maybe the key to life is having discipline. Maybe the key to life is to have balance. Maybe it's meant to miss. Maybe what makes the dessert so good is because you don't have dessert very often. Maybe what makes sushi so good is that you can't afford to eat it each and every day, or you don't want to spend that much money on it each and every day, which causes what? You to miss it. Maybe that's why we like certain things because it's not an everyday occurrence. We get time away from it. We don't get used to it. One of the realest sayings that I'm starting to understand today is familiarity breeds contempt. And that's not just with people, that's just with things in general. You can overdo stuff. Do you guys know that you can put too much weight on your body? I'm not talking about just fat, I'm talking about muscle too. Some guys got too much damn muscle on their body and it's hurting their body. Their body's working too hard to maintain a frame that's too heavy. Maybe the key to life is discipline. Maybe the, key, maybe the key to life is balance. You shouldn't go all the way in any direction. In my conclusion, guys, it's more to life than just sex. I get it. You're gonna, nature's gonna come calling and that, that ovulation if you're a woman and that that um for lack of a better phrase that horniness you get as a guy that urge you get to procreate and mate it's gonna come but guys you have to control it and you're gonna have to have some discipline don't overdo it and plus there's more to life guys don't you want to be masters at something don't you want to leave a legacy Guys, when Michael Jackson, when Kobe Bryant passed away, it's like the whole world stopped for like a month. You couldn't believe it. And these guys were extreme masters at their craft. Kobe Bryant was an extreme master at his, at his craft. Married with children, very respectful guy. He had discipline. He had a wife. He worked hard each and every day. Isn't that more respectful than Hugh Hefner? Now, depending on what kind of guy, how you think, you'll say Hugh Hefner. But I promise you, the world didn't mourn Hugh Hefner like they did Kobe Bryant. So there's more to life, guys. I just want to put that out there because everything in society, everything on social media, everything in the entertainment has some kind of sexual aspect to it. It has some kind of 
sexual innuendo to get your attention, to make you watch it, for them to make money. So you guys just, I wanted to come in and drop this video, give you guys some insight. I appreciate you guys watching to the end. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, on the way out, I appreciate if you guys like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. If you guys want to support the channel, all the ways you can support the channel are in the description below. You guys have a good day, good week. We'll see you in the next one, man. Peace.